Hannah from New Zealand Stitch Bird. Today I'm wearing the Rhapsody Blouse by Love Notions. It's the three quarter, well kind of three quarter below elbow with the band and this one doesn't have this, the little ties. It's in a nice cool linen, although I'm feeling quite hot at the moment. It's again about 30 degrees here in Canterbury. Excuse me for drinking, but it is so hot. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the fact that I don't have a little jacket that I can put over a sleeveless dress or I've got a sleeveless jumpsuit or even just with camis and things like that. So I've been sort of hunting around and doing a lot of research around the kind of style I want, the length I want, what kind of length in the sleeve because the problem you have sometimes if you go for a short sleeve if it falls near the full bust it can kind of make you look a bit wider than you need to be and also just what I'm going to pair it with um, I've been thinking about the colour and I'm thinking I will go with a white or slightly off-white colour because I think it will go really well with most of my pieces and good the fact that you know you, a lot of people in New Zealand wear white sneakers and of course a white jacket will sort of pair really well or I have got some wee white sandals as well excuse me real hot anyway the first contender is the Smitten Jacket by Patton Aporium. I thought it looked really cute. I like the fact that it can be slightly shorter, which would go with dresses. And it's got the elastic around here, sort of kind of like a bomber style. They don't always suit me, however. So I'm just not sure whether the fullness will just add more weight to me or not uh, however I thought if I made it in something really lightweight it might be okay so it could be a contender I've obviously put the uh, pick up here and all the links to the patterns the other one I looked at was the Sinclair Rosie really cute how it sort of comes and does up with a little clasp or pin or button and loop However, I think it might be a little bit formal um, for what I want it for. Because I'm generally kind of a classic, casual. I like to have a little bit of um, detail in some of the clothes. Like this one here has got the uh, gathers going across. He just something a little bit different. Slightly elevated, but casual. So I'm just not sure whether that's really quite right for what I want. The other one I was looking at was the Quinn cardigan and I just loved the example that Karina had recently on all her, she showcased all her toppers for 2023, her website's Lifting Pins and Needles and she had the Quinn cardigan on there in this gorgeous white sort of a lace and plain bands and little pockets up here and I thought that would be really cute. And I think it would go with a lot. So that is a serious contender at this stage. But then I kind of thought, I have recently been wearing shirts open. In particular, I've done the Aria button down and I've just had it open over a cami. And I thought, actually, maybe that's all I need. And then I could wear it as a shirt or I could wear it open so it was kind of like a jacket. And then I made the exciting discovery when I went on to Love Notions when they had their sale and found the Melody Dolman and this is really cute it comes to just here I put a pick up there and it's got buttons and it's just enough just to cover the top of your arm and I'm thinking that that might be all I need just to have just to throw over a dress to throw over my jumpsuit got lots of different cameras and I never wear them because it's too hot um, wearing anything you know like a big jacket but just a wee shirt over the top style thing could work really well so I would appreciate your feedback which one would you pick so let me know in the comments below um, yeah message and let me know which one and I'll list all the patterns so you can have a wee look for yourself and obviously I've put them all up here 
and we'll see which one's going to be the contender. Maybe I might have to make more than one. Anyway, that's all for today. Just a quick one. And I will hopefully be back uh, next week with some of my new makes. Thanks for watching. Bye now.